Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So today I have a fun one for you where we, we're going to the circus, I guess. Yeah. Well, Natasha Denona's version of the circus. This is the Natasha Denona Circle Local Palette that just released. And I have five looks for you. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're only but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So please just call me Ash or Ashley and eyeshadow is really my jam and that's what we are talking about today. So Miss Natasha Denona released her Circle Local palette and this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful 15 pan palette and it's actually one of her larger size palettes so that means she is expensive. She is the $129 version. So this is more comparable to the size of the Safari palette or Biba or the, uh, let's see, Leela palette or the gold palette so many palettes so this is not comparable in size of course to love bronze or glam or what is it sun sunrise so um right here you do have a mixture of 15 shades you have different finishes you have her mattes you have her creamy mattes you have her cream to powder which is right here acrobat and then you also have her shimmers this like i said the palette retails for 129 dollars the palette released on march 15th i was actually able to pre-order her palette from her website on the 11th and I was like oh well it's still not going to ship to the 15th but she actually shipped them out a little bit earlier so I was able to get mine yesterday. This is actually the unicarton right here of the packaging and on the back you have all the ingredients and it actually tells you what the formula is for each of the shadows. So um, you know Natasha Denona Makeup LLC is out of New York, New York and um, she uh, this palette is good for 24 months once you open it. And of course, if you keep your shadows in a clean, dry area, they will stay good for so much longer than that. The palette is made in Italy. And like I mentioned before, it's 15 shades with a total net weight of 37.5 grams or 1.323 ounces. So right here you have the beautiful packaging and it just kind of just takes you to the circus and I think it's so cute. On the back you also have standard to Natasha Denona uh, palettes where you can kind of just pop it out, rearrange the palette to kind of create the color story you want to, put it in Z palette or do whatever you want to do, recreate your own palette. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get into some looks and then um, we're going to wrap up of course with some final thoughts. Let's go ahead and get started per usual. Eyebrows are filled in using my Goof Proof Pencil in shade 3.75 by Benefit Cosmetics. And then I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion on in the shade Caffeine. <laughs>
Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why you tryna break us up? When I'm tryna build it up. I wish I could make you stop. Cause baby, I love you. Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight. I'm gonna make Alright, I'm back, and here are the first two looks. And I was really, really worried, guys. Like, I was like, eh, I'm not feeling this. <laughs> I am not. It's, this eye was, it was not working for me. But after I kind of just did my face makeup and everything, I do like it. I like it a lot now. And then I really love this one. It looks really tropical. It's kind of fun. That fuchsia with the pop of blue. So, so far, so good, okay? So let's go ahead and get into another set of looks. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your sight. Cause I can do this all night. You can call it what you want. I got something else in mind. Oh, if it's you. Next two looks and oh my god 
so pretty. <laughs> so, so pretty. Now, this is making me happy. This is like, okay, this palette was a good decision because at first, I, I was a little nervous. Even though I ended up liking the eye over here with the copper into the blue slash purple, but these two looks, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I forgot to mention my face details. You know, I'm going to put them down below as usual. But for this bright blue liner, I'm using this by the Lip Bar. And this is called Island Ting. This is the collab that they had with Justine Sky. And then for my lip, I am using one of Propa Beauty's new lipsticks, which is called Moxie. And so I do have a uh, lip video up where I swatch all the shades. So this is the shade right here. And of course, everything will be down below. But... Oh my gosh, I am in love. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna do one more look and then we'll wrap up with some final thoughts. Det var första gången vi möttes Våra blickar bara möttes Kommer du ihåg det igen? Kommer du ihåg det igen? Du vill ha ice and little fingers Då du vet det It's so gorgeous. It's kind of ice queenish, but I think it's really, really pretty. And the shades worked really well together. So 
let's go ahead and talk about this little baby right here so let's talk about the packaging i actually really like the packaging i like the metallic um magenta squares against the mint with the muted orange slash peach and i actually like the plastic packaging the hard packaging with the natasha denona uh palettes also you know on the back you can just punch it out so you can probably just kind of create your own color story if this is maybe a little bit too hard for you to kind of conceptualize and to figure out what to do because i did have some trouble like even though i just kind of did the time lapse on here and i was just sitting here looking like okay what should i put together that's not so predictable but just kind of mixing some of the colors together so i can see how that can be an issue for people who are you know not novice when it comes to makeup but overall i do like the palette i was a little concerned when i first tried the palette um now this palette it doesn't have like super high impactful shimmers except for the two which was aerialist right here and it's snow cone snow cone is the one i have all over my lid right here those are the shimmers that are like super high shy now the other shimmers electric uh razzle dazzle flip and then uh let's see the act those particular shimmers they um they can function kind of as a matte but i think that they work very well together i was really surprised by electric electric is beautiful also razzle dazzle is actually really quite beautiful and now that one i feel like in order to get the pure maximum capacity or like the pigment of the shade like i had to go in with my all-nighter setting spray by urban decay uh canon i had a little trouble with kind of like making it stick on the brush and i felt like I don't know. I just felt like I shouldn't have had to work with that shade so hard, but I need to go back and retest that one. And I do kind of like how we have Grin that's like a more muted yellow gold. Now, I did not pick up this shade at all. This is the only shade in the, sh in the palette that I did not try, which is Spiral. And honestly, I'm not really feeling it. I like the orange matte firework because you can get some cute looks with it and then you kind of pair it with the shade right here canon and the one cotton candy of course is very light but you i used it just to kind of help blend out um magic so that worked out well and then but fun fun to me look fun to me did not come to play fun to me i like did the packing method and then went ahead and blend it out i was like oh Oh, oh, okay. I see what we're working with here. So overall, you do have some beautiful shades. You do have like that same great Natasha Denona um, formula. You know, we have a creamy mask. We have the cream to powder. I think the only one that is a cream to powder. Let me see. yes okay so the only one that is a cream to powder just like i suspected is the shade acrobat and i just feel like that is a very gorgeous turquoise if i would have to say like my favorite part of the palette would be like this right in here but i do really like the shade magic it's a really great blurple purple <laughs> it's i mean it's purple but it's a little blurple so i mean it just all depends on like what your preference is when it comes to this palette i i enjoy it now that i've been playing with it a little bit more i will double back and let you guys know what i think about it um at a later date when i do my palette rankings of the last few palettes i tried but i do overall like the color story of the palette at first i was very concerned i was like you know what this might not be for me because i had the blue with the purple that acrobat shade and um with canon and i just wasn't feeling it at all in the beginning but then once i kind of did my face and it just had a chance to just settle on my eyes i was like okay that is really pretty now this eye was very pretty the very first look i did i felt like it was very tropical and you got some bold distinct colors with that look and then electric as with that liner just kind of really brought it to life so overall i am pleased the mattes are great except for cotton candy but you like i said you can kind of help to blend out a couple of the shades it serves a purpose but fun to me this one did not come to play i mean it is very very bright and then of course those were just the like the lighter mattes but firework was good magic is good the acrobat with that cream to powder formula is really great as well especially for those deep dark shades because 
it helps to blend out just like I put it right there. You know, usually those shades can get a little patchy, but her putting it in the cream to powder formulation, it just really helps with that. So overall, I will be continuing playing with this palette. I do like it. I don't know if it's like my favorite Natasha Denona palette at the moment. I have to formulate some more thoughts. But overall, I do really like it. And I really like it. It kind of just gives me a little spring vibe with the front of it and it's really different for her line i think this and trio chrome have just been so different when it comes to her um palette i really now i would say that i do wish that this palette was actually in the 65 dollar market i mean honestly you know it's 129 dollars but if you're interested in it your vib sale is coming up soon so you can get you know 10 to maybe 15 percent off of the palette depending on what your status is at sephora but I mean, for such a colorful palette, it's just like, this really could have just been like the $65, you know, jam <laughs> from her instead of such, you know, the high price point. But overall, those are my thoughts so far. And these are like my initial first impressions of the palette. I hope you guys like the looks. When it comes to the looks, I, I mean, one thing that just like really stands out to me about this palette because I have just been looking to do like a mint and purple type of look and I've been it was a Morphe palette that came out recently and it had some of those shades and I was like it's really beautiful but I just can't fool with Morphe's formula and I know I don't really care too much for it so I was gonna you know buy something that I knew I wasn't going to really care for. But this just kind of gave me that. So I really like this look. So, oh my gosh, my favorite looks. So let's see. Uh, oh my gosh. So, because the, the two that I did after the first two, like the look three and four were like really, really good. Okay. So I would say, huh, I would say look number four. No, was that my favorite? I don't know what my favorite is. Okay, but I do, I can tell you what the last look was. The last look was that I just was like, eh. Well, like I said, look number two where I had the copper with the blue. I ended up liking it, but that was my least favorite because I really like look number one. I really love this. I really love look number two, number three with the electric going into the fuchsia and then the mint mattes. So yeah, you guys let me know down below <laughs> what was your favorite and uh, give some comments about this palette. Do you want to pick it up? Are you interested? Are you like, eh, no, not for me because this is definitely like if you're into color, you got to be into color to pick this up. Like if color's not your thing, don't worry about it. Just, just keep on walking because like I said, <laughs> but if you want to dip your toe into color, I think this would be a great way you know, maybe if you want to catch it like during the sale, you know, because it is a great formula. So just let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be very, very soon. And please subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family and we are growing. So thank you. Thank you so much. And with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chair dance, chair dance. Hey, 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 chair dance. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. Bye.